No heckling. Seven calmly. There's a QA for QA. That's fine. QA. Good. I'm ready. Hit me. I don't have a question for you. Oh. <laughs> These guys better have it. Yeah. If, there's, yeah if, there, if you have any questions, let me know. I mean, I, I did speak kind of quick, so. With the, um, with the operating systems that you have in there, do you differentiate between the different versions? Like, say, you know, Server 2008, like standard versus small business versus, I just found one today called Foundation. Yeah. I've never heard of it before. Essentially. It, yes, we, it, we do, but in my estimation, you've never heard of it before, so I'm probably not going to spend a lot of time on it. Well, yeah, that's understandable. I just didn't right. Understand. Yeah, there are there are things like that. Like we we do the um, the especially when Windows 7 came out, and there were three different versions. But luckily, I don't know if everybody knows, the three different versions of Windows 7 are all exactly the same. It's the exact same code base, and depending on which version you buy, it it shows you features that exist, but they exist in all three, the home version, the home premium, and the pro, and the ultimate. Ultimate just has everything visible. It's kind of like when you buy Viper. Everything is actually built in, but depending on how the XML is written is what, you're, what you've seen. And sometimes, I mean, sometimes it, we, we run into problems where agents think they're consumer, and <laughs> we've run into that. But I mean, it's, it's, sometimes it's inevitable. But we, do, uh, we do look at every version, I and mean, you see there's so many service packs available and I've been lobbying I want to so get rid of Windows 2000 but they won't I mean we have 17,000 agents on Windows 2000 boxes there's like, still a lot of Windows 2K users out there yeah we, well we got a lot of government users that are still using Windows 2000 and it's fine with them so why should they spend the money on upgrade but I've been lobbying I think for consumer we shouldn't test on Windows 2000 and for me that eliminates like multiple products I didn't even get into internationalization I mean for one version we did support um, Figs, French, Italian, German, and Spanish, and then the next version we didn't for some reason. And then we did Hungarian. We've done a Chinese version. And now we're getting ready. They're, they're pushing it again. We're doing German first, and then Italian, and Spanish, and France. Luckily, they're going to localize their own somehow. And you I, guys do the definition QA, too? Um, we, <coughs> half and half. It's all automated, but the, the Viper definition, the Viper core, I own the machines, but they own the process. So I, that doesn't make any sense to me. I own the machines basically mean they're in my my server room, my computer room. But if they're not turned on, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, they get an email because their process is so autom that process is so automated that if it doesn't work, they get an email. It says, hey, something's broken, this machine doesn't work, and I think John Petita comes down and pushes a button. I, I don't know what I own the machines means. If a hard drive fails, do I have to swap it, or do I call IT, or do I call John Petita? Did you lose that spot to put it in computer. <laughs> right. I'm hoping they all fail and they move them out of my room because it's warm in there. <laughs> it's more room for me. I mean, it, it, it's, it's inconvenient right now the way the machines are running and they're running warm, which means the life expectancy for those machines is lesser and lesser. And we have some real nice machines in there that I would hate to see go to waste in a six months or a year. You know, they, they, There's no reason they shouldn't in a nice controlled environment running the task they run last five or six years. You know, and QA shouldn't have the huge budget. I mean, that, that we will once these things start going bad. Next. I got one. What's the, uh, where's the... Velocity? Don't ask me the airspeed velocity of a laden swallow. African or European? Well, African or non-migratory. Where's the, the division between dev QA and product QA? And is there any overlap there? It's all overlap. There is no dev QA. I mean, they test on their own. They unit test in their little sterile environments. And, and basically, it's not even a true test. It's like, did my code not fail? Right. What about like Casey's team and all that? That's dev QA. The what? Like Casey's team? Casey's team is dev QA, but only for the Viper Core engine. It has nothing to do with the rest of the product. I mean, their product is the Viper Core, which is consumed by all the other products. Okay. So the, the Casey's dev QA is only for that engine. And we actually used to test that. I used to be the one testing that yeah. until Eric took it over. Okay. Yeah, I think it's just one guy, right? It's just Eric or is it two people now? I don't know. Who's it used to be just for the... Right. Yeah, that's... So the, we test every other product, and I don't know if you guys are aware, but there's like 15 or 20 products. I mean, so the only thing we don't test is the Viper Core. We just hope that when it's consumed, because it goes out with the definitions, that it doesn't break everything else. And we don't really have any way of knowing that, because those... They, they speak intimately. All the Viper products in that core speak at a level that I can't even test. So I hope they do their testing well before it goes out. Or it could, one, expose a bug that I missed because it didn't exist. 
or two, just destroy everything and blow up support. <laughs> I mean, not literally. But you, <laughs> I was going to say that the people have come in with their machines and dropped them off at the desk, and you never know what's in there. Like, here, could you look at my machine? It's ticking. Uh, well, modern bombs don't tick so much. Because <laughs> they have that Swiss motion, that's why. They, they, they were, as it were. Anything else? Going once? I think I spoke enough that nobody has any questions. Thanks for that. I, I knew I could babble. <laughs> anytime, man, anytime. <coughs> Can you shut that off? <coughs> Thanks for coming. Thank you. Thanks for eating the food. I couldn't do it on my own. <laughs> See you tomorrow.